one snapshot that always comes into my mind about working in LA and it was when I first started working with Lady Gaga on her album Joanne and we were at Shangri-La and we started to write the song Joanne on the lawn there and she had her funny like typewriter she was very insistent on like having this old school typewriter to write the lyrics and we were just sitting and someone one of the engineers took a picture from that day and it's like if there was like a picture of like where music and like serenity have met at times in my life like that would be it to be in a place that just has pretty great vibe and juju it can it can make a difference so that was really that was an inspiring place to work it's good to go to the ocean or go to an art gallery or a museum or things like that to just pick up some inspiration and then take that back to the studio but as far as just like i'm going to just take the week off and go to the beach but that might work for some people it doesn't work for me I have a lot of memories because I've made a lot of music here even before I fully moved here. This is where I came to work on the first album I ever produced, it's called Nika Costa. This is where I came to first work with Bruno. I was in Venice doing my last album, like going from Venice Beach to London like twice a month. Moving out to LA three years ago, you know, there's a cliche of like, you start hiking, you get healthy, you drink green juice and you go into intensive therapy. But I did all those things and I can't really complain about them. I try and maintain like a pretty healthy lifestyle, whether that's like boxing, working out, hiking. You know, if you're going to live in LA, I feel like you might as well take advantage of those things that are here. So those are not necessarily like I go for a hike and then I go straight to the studio, but those are all just part of the things that like maintain some kind of balance in your life and mental well-being. Because if it's just like all work, which was like the first 20 years of my life, you are going to hit a wall at some point. I do transcendental meditation every day, which is another thing I obviously learned when I landed at LAX, they were handing out pamphlets. So that's, that's really helpful. I do that 20 minutes, you know, in the morning as soon as I wake up and it's just a good thing to, you can kind of wake up and turn the phone on right away and then you're just like off to the races and like the whole stress thing can start going. And I like the idea of just like waking up, cleaning the slate and being able to like, let the day come to you a little bit.